What's going on peeps? Welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by. With the help of some toy leaks, it has been pretty much confirmed that the alien dragon, Fin Fang Foom, or as the toy leaks label him, the protector, will appear in the Shang-Chi movie. So today we'll take a look at his backstory. If it's your first time visiting the channel and you'd like to know the backstories of comic book characters coming to live action, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the backstories we cover here at the channel. Now, let's go ahead and find out who is Fin Fang Foom or The Protector. Fin Fang Foom has large wings that enable him to fly at speeds faster than the speed of sound. Due to his size and strength, he is able to lift well over 100 tons. He can expel an acid-like green mist from his mouth. He has the power of telepathy, which he uses to communicate. He is able to shapeshift, has a well above average intellect, is a skilled navigator, and is deeply versed in the martial arts. Foom is an alien dragon from the planet Kakaranatha which has also been referred to as McClue 4. Now, I probably said that wrong, and you're going to beat me up in the comments, but I tried. He, along with a small party of his race, left on a mission to find and identify planets to conquer. Foom was the navigator of the ship. They used 10 powerful alien rings to pilot the ship through the cosmos. They came upon Earth and landed the ship in ancient China. They then used their shape-shifting abilities to take on the form of humans. The valley in which they landed later became known as the Valley of Dragons. Foom was then placed in a catatonic state to be the protector of the ship and backup. In the 1960s, he was awakened by a teenage boy whose homeland was being terrorized by the communist Chinese. He lured Foom into chasing him and led him straight into the communist camp, which Foom destroyed. He then led Foom back to the ship and put him back to sleep using a rare herb. At one point, a scientist named Dr. Vault was able to mind control Foom and used him to attack his enemy, the Living Colossus. Foom was briefly able to break free of the mind control just long enough to team with Colossus to thwart an alien invasion. Even though it was for self-serving reasons, wanting to keep the Earth for his race to invade. He fell back under Vault's control again long enough to defeat Colossus. He then broke free and returned to his slumber. He later came into conflict with Thor and was defeated. Later, he was defeated by the Fantastic Four and imprisoned on Monster Island. It turned out to be fairly easy for him to escape. After escaping, he headed to Antarctica seeking isolation. He ended up finding a small base where Bruce Banner just happened to be. An incident occurred causing Bruce to hulk out. Foom, thinking he may have just found a new ally, transformed into his dragon form. Hulk turned out not to be an ally. The two traded blows, and then Hulk hurled him all the way to the moon. At a later point, Foom was captured by the Collector and was put into a zoo the Collector had made for giant monsters. After escaping, he returned to his ship and to his slumber. A man just happened to find the ship and the ten rings which he kept for himself. This man ended up becoming the Mandarin. The Mandarin was later led by a member of Foom's race in disguise to where Foom was sleeping. He was told how to control Fin Fang Foom with the rings. The Mandarin used Fin Fang Foom to attack the Chinese government and to help him conquer China. But soon, the other members of Foom's race abandon their human forms and begin their invasion. This leads the Mandarin to realize he has been used, forcing him to join with his arch enemy Tony Stark Iron Man to defeat the dragons. So what do you think about Fin Fang Foom? Me, I'm really intrigued to see how they're going to portray him in the movie. Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm gone. Peace.